Greetings! This is Stanchion. I'm a full patch member of the Cyber Country Motorcycle Club. And I got a package. Craft Holsters sent me a package. Let's uh, unbox it. Hey Harlan, your new holster is finally here and I hope you really like it. In case the leather is a bit stubborn, feel free to use the kit. Can't wait to watch your review, Al. Get my gun.
So, Craft Holsters found me on Instagram and they're like, hey, you're a YouTube celebrity. You're like a star. Why don't you do a review of one of our gun holsters? So I was like, okay. Went to the website and I ordered a mahogany leather right-handed, bam, on the hip holster. And it was hand-stitched in Europe because it actually was mailed to me from Europe. Something that started with an S, I don't know, sketch Lovakian or something, I don't know. So, it came with a small break-in kit, which has break-in in liquid. It has a wool uh, dub doubler, microfiber cloth, and it had some cool, uh, whatever that is. Here's the uh, wool, whatever, the break-in liquid. That's the package. And then it came with this little cloth dealie. So, my son helped me out last night mm -hmm. and he applied the uh, break-in liquid. You can tell how it was just extremely hard to get the gun in the holster. This is it. Mahogany handmade leather dealie. I like how uh, that actually comes up. Yeah, it makes cool. it easy to remove. So it's in a bag. It's in a bag because that's what they recommend. Shove it in a bag, put uh, your little woo, woo woo rub it all over, blah, 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 whatever. All right, so let's see if leaving it in the bag overnight actually made it better. I ripped. This is the bag that the stuff came in. I figured why not reuse it? So this is my Ruger Security 9. And that's all I know about it. It's empty. So let's see if that helped. Put it in, do do do. Oh, it actually did it! It worked! Now it slides in all easy peasy! So, mahogany, this thing is beautiful. Check out the stitching, can you see that? I hate how everyone says, hey, check this out. Can you see it? And I just did it. Oh, ridiculous. So that's how it sits in the holster. That's nice. Uh, I'm gonna throw it on my belt. I'm gonna start wearing it around uh, for a few days here and uh, give a good review on how it feels against my uh, fat roll. It's a muffin top and uh, yeah. We'll see how well it works. And then uh, that's about it. We'll shoot. Ah! I thought we were good and broken in. Maybe it just needs to sit in there for a little longer. Put it on my belt, wear it around the house. So, craft holsters. I found them on, well, they found me on Instagram. They didn't even follow me. They just found me on there and said, hey, we're gonna give you free stuff. Will you make a video about it? I'm like, yo, I'm gonna be honest. If it's garbage, it's garbage. But first impressions, I love the color. I thought about going black, but I'd probably never wear it. It's a uh, real tough leather. The stitching is beautiful. I think it's, it looks amazing. I think. Now, again, y'all know I don't know nothing about nothing. So this could be garbage, but it looks really nice. The leather, the stitching, has a nice leather smell. I think I'm gonna get leather as a cologne. So let's see, pop her in. So it's getting better each time I do it. I just gotta get it shoved in there to stretch it out a little more. I might want to put on some more small breaking kit. So I might put on more of the liquid. Uh, it kind of has like an alcohol smell. Yeah, can you smell that? Oh wait, it's YouTube. Uh, but it has a nice little whatever. I think this would be great for cleaning out my nostrils because I'm already at like a half inch. 
So it gets all the boogers out. So this is a multi-purpose tool. Use it for the leather, get it all worked in, and then you can use it in your nostril plugs if you got any. Just saying. You could probably shove it up in there and get them boogers out, get that dust. You know what I'm saying? But that is for another video. And I don't know why, but I'm really excited about this. This is cool. I think I'm gonna like stretch it out and like pose it, you know, pose some stuff on it. I don't know, but I'm keeping that. And then uh, my son's like, hey, you got a flag. So I don't know what that is, but it just says the company's name on it. But that's my son's now. This even came with a free toy for the kids. All right. That's the gist. And yeah, this little micro whatever dealy cloth. Um, they say in the little instructions that uh, use this like once a month and uh, polish your holster. I ain't that kind of guy. So I think I'm just gonna use this for my cell phone instead. Clean off my cell phone. Bam, look at that. It works good. All right. Falco Gun Holster Company. This is their user guide. Okay, let's show the box now, because boxes are cool. Even though you might have already seen the box in the previous uh, whatever, but you know, it says, welcome to the holster club. And then it has, you know, whatever that is. What does that say? Free shipping, free monogram. I wish I would have known that. I would have put uh, 43MC on there. Or maybe uh, this is Stitch. I don't know. Uh, loyalty discount, back, uh, buyback guarantee after 30 days. And then the inside. It says, uh, win and share. Post a picture of your new holster on Facebook or Instagram with Craft Holsters hashtag and win 100% money back on this order. What? Wow, that'd be pretty cool. Well, they already gave it to me for free. Custom holsters for everyone. So, I don't know. I guess box and presentation, I like it. Uh, nothing too fancy, but they still showed that they cared. And I got a little love letter from Al. I already showed that. A little love letter. Send me a little personal message. Maybe. Who knows? You could have just copy and pasted it and changed the name. I don't know. All right, so. Yep. Mahogany. Right hand carry. This is going to be the outside the waistband. So I'm gonna throw my clip in it, pop around in the chamber and wear this around for a while. My reviews take a while because I'm not just gonna wear it once and be like, oh yeah, this is great. No, I'm gonna mash it and squish it and throw it on the ground and see if I can chuck it off my motorcycle. I wanna see that this lasts and doesn't stab it in my gut roll because this is where my fat bam hits. So. We're gonna see. And uh, for you that watched any of my other gun review, uh, holster review dealies, uh, I'm big on the fat roll and it just hurts. Um, Y'all know because of my other videos that I like carrying the 380 because it's just small and compact. And I legit, I don't even wear a holster no more because all the holsters hurt me. So I put it in my coin pocket. Yeah, my coin pocket on my pants. If y'all didn't know what that little teeny pocket was, it's for your coins, it's for your change. Oh, the original thing was for- like Pocket watch. Yeah, pocket watch. My son wants to be the peanut gallery. What? That's what he wants to do. Peanut gallery? Anyways, mm -hmm. I actually put my 380, what is it, a Sky 380 Auto. I put that in my coin pocket. I don't even need a holster and it doesn't stab my fat roll. But this guy, I would want to carry them more, but I don't because of the whole, that was slick. Because of the whole it hurts thing. So I'm gonna try it with this. So let's put it on my belt and see what happens. All right. 
Is that how it goes? Cause that is right up in the old gut. Well, now I'm having a hard time getting that snap on because it's my stomach's in the way. All right. So let's pull my pants up where I wear them. All right. Well, wearing it with this shirt is cooler because this shirt is one size too big. I got this shirt on Amazon.com. Wait, that's a different YouTube video. But uh, it's black and gray. It's really nice. Like 13 bucks. Amazon. <laughs> but this shirt I bought one size bigger. Oh yeah. This shirt I bought one size bigger just in case it shrinks in the wash because I ain't never bought nothing on the internet for clothes. All right, back to the gun. So it works with this because this shirt's baggy. Now, if I remove, all right, this is a normal t-shirt, extra large. Can you see the holster? There's a tiny little bulge where the, you pull the snap. So the, thingy. see, my son says he right sees there. this right here. Wait, do that, do that. Oh, little, little guy hanging out right there. You know, put my arms up. You see like Woo, belly. Yeah. So, arms up. So it is kind of there. It feels comfortable where it's at. Like I said, I'm not a gun guy. Like I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, like, bah, bah, and pull it, or am I supposed to do it one-handed? I don't, see look, now it's just stabbing my stomach. Look at that, look. That just happened. I can Ugh. barely see that. So, put it back in. Am I trying to do it one-handed? Nope. I gotta do two hands. Well, I'm only assuming the leather will break in more. But I gotta do two hands to push that in. Okay, there we are. All right, so. That's it, I guess. So, I was unable to wear the gun holster in the traditional sense, where it's like right on your side. Roop. I've actually been able to wear it a little bit farther back. So, here are my pants. Yes, I'm not wearing any right now. But, how else am I gonna show you this? So, wearing the holster in the back portion, you know, see there's my pocket. Wearing it in the back section, I've actually been able to wear it all day uh, with no problems. Seriously, no problems. So, if you've seen the earlier part of this video, whenever I sat down, it stabbed me in the side of my gut. And that was not cool. And I was like, well, this is another garbage holster. No point in having it. But, you just move it a little. All of a sudden, that's like a whole new world. And it's awesome. So I'm over to wear it now. So originally, you know, I tried to put it on the side. So there's the front of the belt. I tried to put it right here and uh, it was cool, but it stabbed me in the side. So wearing it in the back right here, it actually is much, much better. And uh, it feels great. If you checked out my Sucker Free Saturday video, I'll pop a link up here for you. So you can watch it. It's Sucker Free Saturday. That day, I'm wearing the holster the entire time. The craft uh, holster, made in Europe. Um, that's their Instagram if you wanna yuck them out. But craft holster, I wanted to hate this thing. I wanted to hate it so much because I'm like, why would a company send me? I have 300 subscribers on YouTube, uh, 600 on my Instagram. Uh, maybe a thousand two hundred on Facebook. Why would they send me? Some random guy in Alaska a gun holster But it's actually pretty awesome So you know like a good pair of uh, work boots, you know how the material breaks into you That's what this holster does. It actually broke into the side of my waist what I mean is it actually started curving to my body, this leather, and it fits me now, perfect. So it is curved, it is molded 
to my side. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. Um, the uh, break-in liquid was amazing. Put on that break-in stuff. Actually, my son did it for me. Put on that break-in stuff. Then I left it in overnight in a bag like they suggested. Next day, I popped it out, put it in the holster, and it was beautiful. I've left it in the holster. The day I got this holster from them, I have left my gun in it. And it has been perfect, you know. It's been great. It legit, like look at that. It molded to my side. Like the belt and the holster have become one. And uh, it is just so nice. I've actually been able to wear it all day, every day, with zero problems, except in the truck, okay? I get in the truck and where the holster is because of where I'm putting it, though. Because I have to put it towards the back right, or the back right pocket, it tends to stab me a little bit in the side. But all I gotta do is I push the uh, barrel down on the holster and then it's fine. So, and that just recently happened. So I might've actually changed the direction, changed the, I might've actually changed the back of my seat, raising it up more, which is giving me that stabbed in feeling. But um, it's, it's a great, it's actually a great holster. Um, I was really excited once it molded to the shape of my side. Uh, of course, the only downfall is where I wear it because this is the most comfortable for me because of my weight. I'm 5'8", 245 pounds. So because of my weight, this is the best spot for me to have my holster. And it does make it difficult to get out of my wallet when I'm wearing my pants. So that is a downfall. However, the comfortability of wearing this holster is much uh, is much better right here. So I'll deal with having a hard time getting my wallet out because it's like that. So I'll deal with that to be able to wear a holster all day and being able to carry, you know, my nine mil, which I normally never carry because I never had a holster nice enough to carry that gun because everything hurt me. So for a holster, I seriously wanted to hate. I actually really like it. Uh, the leather is beautiful. The color is great. The fit is perfect. Once you break it into where you're wearing it, the gun fits amazing. Um, all day comfortable wear, except for when I'm sitting in my vehicle, but that might be my fault. Um, highly recommend Craft Holsters. It's a company that hit me up on Instagram. I'll pop their link in the description. I've noticed other two YouTube videos I'm supposed to point down because apparently the person watching doesn't know where the description is. So I'm gonna put the description so I'm gonna put their link in the description below. Right down there, man. You click the little triangle and then you can scroll if you're on your phone or if you're using a mouse, you can look for that, okay? I'll put their link to their website, put a link to their Instagram and their Facebook, because now they follow me. They follow me now. It's real, this is a real relationship. Not a paid ad, just FYI. They sent me a free holster though, and I really like it. All right. <laughs> Stay humble, stay blessed.